Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to another confessional for Ben Linus' Survivor Heroes vs. Villains. So last Tribal Council, some of the tensest shit I've seen this entire season, my friends. Man, we got news good with that blind side. We took him out 7-6. They thought Mel and Brian... I think they thought they had Men and Bell on the, Ben on their side. They didn't. Mel was never going to leave us. I know. I know how Mel plays. She respects honesty and she still has me i'm the only person i think she believes in this game anymore so to think that i wanted to vote news out i think that's what kept her with us on our side honestly that's what i think won us that vote but i don't want to take all the credit it was a great team strategy making the vote look like it was Usri. then when he when i guess they guessed it right or when ben told him that Managed to flip the vote over to news without them finding out. That's clutch on our side. That is very clutch. Now, the villains didn't win immunity. Mel did. I tried my damnedest on that puzzle, but I was tired. I was on my phone, and I was using one hand. Because my wife, when she sleeps, she's cuddling with my other arms. I really couldn't use my dominant hand, so I was using it left-handed. Not exactly working out real well for me. So, I'm not surprised I got last. Anyway, not the point. So, Mel won immunity. Great. She's not going home. That's good for me. It's good for the heroes, because now all the villains can be voted for. Now, that idol, we still think that idol is out there. So with that being said, we need to focus our efforts on getting one of their threats out. So we all want to get Stoner out as soon as humanly possible, because he's won this before. He knows what he's doing. But we think he's the one most likely to have the idol with all those guesses he got. So if we keep telling them it's him... We can vote out who we want. And it looks like the target tonight is going to be someone else. I would be sad to see him go because me and him are such good friends. But at the same time, it is a game and we are on opposite sides of the game. So I think he can respect that. If I were in his position, I would respect that because there's really nothing we can do. Because I'm not putting my neck out this early in the merge to try and save a guy on the opposite side. It's just not worth it because I do not have the power to do so. So with that being said, let me cast my vote for tonight's tribal. Where is my pen? I know my pen is up here somewhere. Somewhere in this godforsaken piece of crap. Pen, pen. Ah, pen. There we go. I can just use I actually have my route sheet still, so I'll just use this. I cast my vote to evict. Kaz. I'm sorry, brother. I respect you as a player, man. You have matured a lot in the years since I first met you back in Island Survivor. But, mate, we're on opposite sides today. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry I can't save you this time. But if you manage to pull an idol out and you play correctly, man, I wouldn't be that sad to see you here. Because as long as it ain't me going home, I'm perfectly fine with it. So I'll catch you all in the next episode, next confessional. This is the Nasty One, signing off.